was watching um, uh, Hot Ones on, on YouTube the other week, and yeah. I don't know if you know what Hot Ones is. No, no, no. I've, I've seen it, but I haven't actually watched it. I've seen, like, the little thing. Yeah, it's just an interview, and they're eating hot chicken. And um, yeah. there's one with Kevin Hart, and Kevin Hart's, like, just fucking crazy. He's a hilarious guy. And they just had a, um, a truth or dare hot ones. Mm-hmm, so, like, mm-hmm. eat the chicken or tell us the truth. The first question they gave to, to Kevin Hart, and, you know, one of the biggest movie stars in the yeah. world at the moment, is do you eat ass? And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, man, that's a pretty fucking upfront question to be oh, asking someone. I would someone. answer that hands down, absolutely. What did he say, though? He ate the chicken. <laughs> like, he ate <laughs> well, the hot I'm chicken. Well, I'm sorry, but him eating the chicken means he eats ass. So that's a bit silly. He should have... So, he may as well have just said it. Uh, these things, like, you wouldn't have heard that. You wouldn't have heard somebody asking that question, like, five years ago on television, let oh, alone yeah, to, like, a, you know, a huge movie star. Yeah, that's true. That's so funny. That's so funny. Is this shit being normalised? Is it... Well, well, um, whatever you want to call it, arse eating, if you want to put it in that yeah. term, um, is actually very common. So I get a lot of clients that will eat my eat ass. ass. <laughs> Absolutely. It sounds, it sounds, like, a bit weird. But, no, it's actually, you know, rimming. Like, it's... You know, it's all clean. You know, you sh- everyone's showered. It's not yep. gross how you think. Um, so probably 80% of my clients would absolutely eat my ass. So you're saying Kevin Hart, 100% ass eater. If he ate the chicken, he ate the ass. Why would he... What He would just oh, no, that's not my thing. He ate the chicken because he didn't want to confess. Yeah, yeah. And well, I don't... <laughs> what a silly boy. I would have been like, yeah, like, hell yeah. yeah but he's doing like kids movies and shit. <laughs> It just seemed like a super odd question to... That, okay, maybe that's why he didn't... May, you know what? Maybe he didn't say it more for the inappropriateness of it. Not so much... Do you think that that's wrong, though? Do you think that people should be open to be able to express themselves as an arse I think, so. I think obviously it's a bit hard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think in a sense, absolutely. Like, you know, he's not like there was a kid there. He's not in the no, kids' movie. No. And, you know, he's like, hey, kitty, this is what I do, you know. <laughs> then that would be pretty fucked up. <laughs> You know, but if, you well, know, you've got two adults like, um, talking, you know, in a bit more of a different environment, there yeah. should be no reason you can't be a little bit more open. And, and when you've got people like uh, like Ice Cube being, yeah. like, in kids' comedies and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, stuff yeah, exactly. like that, I mean, the guy's done some pretty fucked up that, shit. Exactly. And, so it shouldn't, shouldn't really affect, a, you know, what you do. You know, there is certain things that are going to affect it, but, I mean, you, you know, there's a place for everything. Do you think about that for yourself in your future? Do you think? Um, I've always thought about that. Like, yeah. um... When I went into this industry, like even just the modelling side of it, um, I thought, you know, later on down the track, but I made the decision that I was willing to accept any potential consequences later. Um, I'm very business orientated, so I'd be, I'm going to be running my own business anyway, myself, like myself is my business, the photo editing, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm not really going to have to have a boss that goes, oh, hey, you know, here's an interview. Oh, sorry, we found out. You're a naughty, naughty girl. You, you know, you eat ass. We can't hire you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, your breath stinks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. Oh, sorry. At least you'd have a good reason for it. At least it wouldn't just be. Yeah, yeah, breath. exactly. Like, your breath stinks, man. I've been eating ass this morning. Uh, no, and that's fuck what you. I'm, I'm not ashamed. No, but ass, ass is fresh. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. I, I have clients that, yeah. guys, obviously, that absolutely love having their ass eaten. Really? If the guy loves getting his ass eaten. He's going to have the freshest ass out because he does not want to be paying X amount an hour. You rocking up, he, him being like, here's my ass, love. And you being like, sorry, no, I'm taking your money because you're not clean enough. Like, Have they, you had to do that before? No, no. Oh, Everyone that, has... That would be pretty disappointing. I'd be like, I thought I was going to get to eat some ass and you've ruined it for me. What is this? Put that away. No, that no, be I've been... Fucked up. But no, that's the thing. People, it's not like that. Like people... You know, like anything, like you have a shower, you know, if you're going to have sex, you know, you're not going to yeah, yeah. be all gross and yuck and then see an escort, like, yeah. or your partner. You don't even want to be like that for your partner. Exactly like, right. You have a bit, with a partner, it's probably a little bit like a bit of morning breath or you look a bit crap, it's not a big deal. But if you were having a one night stand or yep. anything like that, unless you're yep. both completely blind drunk, you're going to care about how you smell. You're going to have your true. hair done, you're going to be deodorant on, you know, you're going to be clean the same thing if a guy wants his ass eaten or if a girl wants her ass eaten they're gonna have a clean they're gonna clean that shit yeah they're gonna make that shit all glamorous